Yo, what's up? Hey, welcome, welcome back, back to to, to another... idiots play build battle and scream very loud. You mean one idiot and one genius? Ah, thank you for that compliment. <laughs> episode 700 of two idiots who keep saying maybe. Actually, it's episode. Let me find that out for you real quick. Episode 498. This oh. is episode 498. Almost the big 500. Big, big. First one, baby. Baby. Shell tree has palm tree heart blocks. Uh, how about blocks? Let's do this. Uh, make them eight big. Okay, we have a cube here. Then this one is not sticking out as much. Oh, wow. Now, nah, actually, it's gonna be sticking out more. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, do you prefer Legos or Knacks? <laughs> uh, uh, I guess Knacks. Me too. Okay. Because much more versatile. And you don't have the problem where two bricks are stuck to each other. <laughs> and then you have to call an adult to release them, separate them. An adult? I need adult supervision. Happens way too often, huh? Two of the thin bricks. Yeah, yeah, those thin ones. Mm, those are tough. I also think with Legos, you can really only build... Uh, you can't build that much. Because usually you only have a small set of like 50 pieces or okay. whatever i don't know i don't know you're uh, saying there's a uh, not much creativity there well if you want to build like uh, a car you can't you're gonna need more than 12 bricks <laughs> yeah yeah also legos are very dangerous yeah, if you step, step on, on them, them you swallow them yeah uh in uh, elementary school there was a kid he put a little lego brick in his nose and he sucked it too far then it was stuck in his nose. He had to go to the hospital to get it out. And he, then he died? No. <laughs> oh, he of didn't? course not. He, there's nothing dangerous about getting something stuck in your nose, is there? Because you can still breathe through it the mouth is, and everything. It is if it goes through the trachea. What is that? The breathing hole. Oh. You know, and then you gotta perform the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah. But it was just in his nostril. Now, do you know what to do when someone is choking on food? Yes, of course. First step <laughs> Would is you like a tissue, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, first step is smack him on the back. Give him a nice friendly pat on the back. No, on the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> then spank that booty? <laughs> no, it's actually not recommended anymore to do the Heimlich maneuver. You gotta first spank him on the back. Okay. Not on the back of the head, just the back. Okay. Then if it doesn't come out, you can try the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah, you can also open their mouth and check if you can visibly see the food stuck. Right. Because it could just be a very big piece of food that doesn't want to go down. In that case, couldn't you just like drink some water or something? That's kind of hard to do when you're choking. I had one time where I ate a potato chip, but I didn't <laughs> chew it enough. <laughs> this is a true story. And it got stuck in my, uh, what's it called? Esophagus, I guess? Esophagus? Ah, uh, just the throat. Just the throat. Okay. And it kind of hurt. Okay. Because, you know, a potato chip can be pretty sharp. Okay. And it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, and crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Finger licking. Yeah. So it got stuck in there. So it's so I'm like, ah, ah, this hurts. This hurts. And then I just took some water and it came on. Yeah. If you're, you're clearly not choking, if you can say, ah, yeah. I know, I could still breathe in everything. It's just that the chip was stuck in there. No, I actually saved a man's life one time. Yeah, true. I'm a hero, no. We were on a school trip and... <laughs> oh god, this is just funny thinking about it. This classmate, he choked on cotton candy. <laughs> cotton candy, oh my god. He bought a massive cotton candy. Thing. Okay. Started eating and then he started... <laughs> He's like, I can't breathe, man. So I was like, you serious? And I smacked him on the back like 10 times. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, you saved my life, man. And he was being serious. Yeah. You actually saved he his life. He wasn't joking. He was like, oh, you saved my life. <laughs> I was legitimately choking. Uh, How do you choke on a cotton candy? Yeah, the stuff just that melts, melt? right? Yeah, the stuff melts <laughs> as soon as it touches anything. Like, you can eat a whole cotton candy in, like, one second if you just rip it off and then compress it. Because it's 90% air. Nah, no, more than 90. 99% air. Yeah, yeah. It looks really big, but you know how much they put in that machine? They only put, like, a small bag of sugar. Yeah. And then somehow it comes out as this giant puffy thing. Yeah. Wow. Of all things to choke on, a cotton candy. Unbelievable. 
Or maybe it's just more dangerous than we think. Maybe this is very common. Well, maybe part of it has not been swallowed and part of it has been swallowed, you know? Ah, like yeah. string. It's like if you eat something very long, I don't know, uh, an that example... That usually happens with like uh, lettuce. Yeah, with lettuce. It partially in the throat and the other part is stuck to your teeth or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have 20 seconds, how does the build look? Great. Meh. There's a hole right here. Who did that? Hole? Fixed. So that's what build is a bunch of blocks. Yeah. Meh. Good enough. Cool. So, time to start voting. Let's see what we get. First one. Ah. Gold ore. Bedrock. They all have eyes. TNT. Grass. Cool. Cool. Next up, we have a tree house. Uh, boop. Boop. Oh, mm. who made that? It's a wall of blocks. Beautiful. Baby. How are you holding poop? Why what are you hell? holding poop? What the hell? Two people holding poop. We have a torch, torch a diamond, a diamond ore. ore, and a furnace. Furnace? I think. Ah, looks more like a face. Cool! We oh. have a prisoner holding a block of grass. Ooh, that is cool. That is epic. I don't get it though. Nice build. A giant, a giant grass, giant block. grass block. <laughs> a super lame. <laughs> super lame. Okay. Aha! Bunch of kids yeah. playing with blocks. Yeah. Playing with the blocks like it's FIFA. <laughs> Like it's Minecraft. We have a chest. Two of them. Are you sure there's not a crafting table? Oh, that's a crafting table. You're right. We can okay. go in. Boom. There was a massive pee pee inside the crafting oh. table. <laughs> we have a red block. And another one. Okay. Cool. That is TNT. a giant unfinished TNT outline. And a half slab, I think. Cool. Cool. Diamond oh. block. Emerald block. Glowstone. Lapis. All the mineral blocks. Smart. Epic. We have CE. That stands for Common Era. Oh. And this grass block has a mustache. Cool. Second, Second place. place. Yeah. Yep. Cool build. Cool. Good nice job. job. You deserve this. Deserve it. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with Stop that. Stop repeating me. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Second round, baby. 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 Skate park stick soup light bulb map. <coughs> Map. So, what are we making? We are making a globe. A globe. Yep. Cool. How big? This big? Yep. Don't make it too hard. Yeah, the thing with globes is they're a much more uh, accurate uh, representation of the uh, Earth. That's not true. Because the Earth is flat. That is not true. Oh. The Earth is a pyramid. Oh. So, Illuminati is behind this. Yeah. No, but if you look at uh, your typical map, it looks flat, right? But the countries are all completely different sizes Yep. than reality. For example, Greenland looks huge. It's actually very small. <laughs> and here's something else, the northern countries look bigger. Yeah. Because in reality, Africa is huge. Yeah, but Africa looks pretty small on the map. Yeah, Madagascar is huge. Yeah. Now it can be confusing at times. Eh? For example, if you want to take a flight from New York to, let's say, China. China? China? It's faster to fly over the North Pole. Damn. What? Isn't that dangerous? Like, what if the plane has some issues or whatever? Well, what about flying over the Atlantic? That's not dangerous? Of course it is. Okay. Yeah. Well, we should ban all planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the perfect solution. No, but why is it more dangerous than flying over some other areas? Well, if there's land and there's a problem with the plane, you can just find a nearby airport and land, right? But if you're above the water, or above ice, even worse, where are you gonna land? I think ice is better than water. Yeah, you think you can land a plane on ice? You think you can land a plane on water? Yeah. It's so been done before. <laughs> you hit it like a sack, man. It's like when you jump off a cliff. No, but it's been done before, landing a plane on water. Oh. Yeah. Recently, just recently, it was like the 30 year anniversary or whatever. 30 year anniversary of landing a plane on water. Yeah, the pilot who saved everyone's lives was not a single casualty because he landed the plane on water. And why did they have to land in water? Someone messed up somewhere, right? Because uh, there was a problem with the plane. The pilot? Mm, no, the, the pilot was held a hero because he landed the plane in water. Okay. It's like Jesus walked on water, you know? Couldn't they just have used a boat? <laughs> So this is the entire build. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, a little Tiny. Lame. Maybe add something more. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a great idea. I'll make it nighttime. That's a great idea. But you have a point. 
you need somewhere to make an emergency landing. Yeah. What about Greenland? Or the North Pole? Can you land on the North Pole? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Even if you do land, what about the polar bears? <laughs> yeah, if you land in the water, what about the sharks? Huh? <laughs> Look what happened to the Titanic. They landed in water. No, they hit an iceberg, didn't they? <laughs> See? Ice is dangerous. Yeah, North Pole, huh? Yeah. You gotta be careful. Black ice. Yeah, that's a pretty lame build that we have there. It is. Yeah. Definitely. What now? We just give up? Yeah. Okay. That's the spirit. Or make it look like a desk. Yeah, that's it. How do you do that? I'm just gonna add a pen... Pen... Thing? Cup. Ah, okay. A cup with pens. Okay, well then I'll make a mug. <laughs> Another problem with flat maps is that what country do you put in the middle of the map? Yeah, that's uh, that's funny. Yeah, I believe in Australia they look at the map upside down. Wait, what? Yeah. You serious? Mm, I might be wrong. I believe in some countries they, instead of putting Europe in the center of the map, they put like their own place in yeah, the center. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Would it make sense to put Europe in the middle? No, but I'm not kidding when I say that in some places they use the map upside down. Really? Yeah. So North... Is at the bottom. Yeah. Wow, okay. Interesting. I mean, who really knows what side is up anyway? <laughs> well, we've decided that there's a North Pole and a South Pole, so... Yeah, but then we decide that North is always up? Um... Well, we did decide that the Sun comes up in the East, right? Yeah, but that's a fact. Yeah, well, based on what side the Sun comes up on, you can extrapolate which side North is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who said it has to be up? Um, it's like you can put east on the on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's our desk. We have a globe. We have yep. two cups. One with coffee, the other one with pens. Mmm, delicious. First so, one. That is terrible. Boop, boop. Is a math farting or something? What was it? <laughs> green gas yeah. pod. Oh. Okay, it's like a scroll. Scroll. Yeah. Pretty cool. cool. What does the sign say? It says, Save me. No. We have an island with an X. <laughs> Where's the map? Pretty cool. Cool. We it's have a, a map, map with, with trees. 3D. Cool. Amazing. It's like a hologram. Wow. The whole yeah. plot is map. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool. That is some dirt. Boop, boop. Huh? Boop. It is a pink uh, dude standing behind an alien. Boop. Boop, beep. Boop, beep. A uh, girl yeah. holding a map. Or is it a guy? No, I'm gonna say it's a girl. Mm, hard to tell. That's a skirt. Yeah, that's a skirt. You're right. Okay. What that's the? Ours? That's not a map. That's what a globe. What the hell is that? Yeah. Yeah. You guys Super don't know poop. what a map is? Stupid. Super poop. Maps are 2D. They're flat. Like this uh, one. <laughs> what? Poop poop. That's one hairy... Uh, that's you. <laughs> what we is this? We have a map with lines. Okay. Cool. We have a map, map with, lines. with lines. Okay. Cool. We have a guy holding a mm, glass of milk. <laughs> okay. Poop. Fine. Okay. Wow. Oh, the okay. map is shaped like an ice skater, an elephant. Ice skater. That depends, is interesting. It depends which side <laughs> you're looking from. Hey! hey! Yeah. yeah, baby. 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 Baby, last round. Baby, baby. Uh, game elephant island board games riot, riot. Elephant. Elephant. So what are we building? We are building an elephant standing on a ball. Wow. Yep. That sounds hard. Very ambitious. Well, let's make a ball. Not too big. It still has to fit. Boom. We have a ball shape. Cool. You're crushing my balls. Like it's FIFA. Can an elephant actually stand on a ball though? I mean, if it's a beach ball, it's gonna pop. <laughs> then don't make it out of a uh, beach. <laughs> no, probably it's a very solid, strong ball. Yeah. But are they actually that good at balancing? Because I'm not sure if I can stand on a ball like that. Other humans can. And I'm a highly evolved monkey. Yeah. And they're an elephant. Well, just because you can't do it doesn't mean someone else might not, might be able to. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Great response. <laughs> Time to make the elephant. That's the leg. Yeah. Elephants are truly gentle giants. Yes. I saw this video of an elephant uh, walking and then this uh, turtle came by. Then the elephant stopped in his tracks and was like, Okay, go ahead, turtle. You cross first. Wow. Boom. 
Yeah, elephants Elephant. don't even eat meat. They're herbivores. However, I did once see a video of an elephant attacking a hippo or something. Yeah. Maybe it was in the heat. <laughs> once a year, they go in heat and then they go crazy. They start and then they attack a hippo. They start attacking random things. Usually an elephant doesn't attack anyone. You yeah. know, it's uh, afraid of a mouse. I don't think that was a myth, right? I don't know. Elephants were actually afraid of mice. I don't know. There's a saying that goes, an elephant never forgets. Okay. Which uh, signifies that they're very smart. Oh. They have good memory. Yeah. 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 I haven't tested it myself, but that's what they say. How would you test it? Um, you're gonna walk up to a zoo and go to the elephants like, Hey, remember me? Yeah. Exactly. No, you teach them something, like, remember this number. <laughs> yeah, you teach them pi or something to 100 digits. <laughs> pi? <laughs> they probably don't even know what numbers are. I know, I'm just kidding, but... Oh. Yeah, and then 20 <laughs> years later, you test them again, see if they really forgot. <laughs> so, yeah, we have an elephant standing on a ball. Yeah, pretty it cool. Doesn't look no, great. No. It doesn't really look like an elephant. No. How do we fix that? It's too small. Hmm. I think the problem is it doesn't have a big flappy ear. That's it. There we go. And it Already looks much better. Tusks. Right. Bam. Yeah, see? Oh, that definitely looks better already. Okay. Yeah. Maybe more of a hump on the back? It's a hump back. Okay, pretty good. Ah, oh, not bad. Nice build. Night time. I don't care. Why not? So! Not bad. Put pretty one under good. the ear. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good job. We stand a good chance of winning. Yep. Maybe I'll add a little pattern in the ball, like right here. Oh, it's Switzerland. Okay. That's our build. Time to start voting. Cool. We win. <laughs> Are you so sure, huh? 100%. Here we go. First one. We have two small elephants. Cute. Pretty cute. Look at their noses. Perfect 90 degrees. So big. We have an elephant in the jungle. Cool. Cool. This is a mouse. <laughs> We have a light blue one and a gray one, and both of them don't look great. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my snap. god. That's that is big. big. Uh, wow. Epic, I guess. Epic. <laughs> it's standing on two legs. Wait, what is this Wait, head, this, though? This other one is way better. Oh my god. They should have just only built that head thing. Nice yeah. distraction, man. Distract us from the real build. Yep. Yeah. This one is cool. Nice. This one Pixel is... Pixel art. Not really. Oh, I was looking the from the wrong side. Real. Ah, that's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. Mm, okay. Two legs. Okay. That's wow. how it is. It's an elephant standing on the ball. Oh wow. my god! Who made that? It's so beautiful. Ha 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 ha! Harry. How do you know? Um, we this have one. an elephant with a vacuum hose. Looks like a turtle. Okay. Cool. This one's in the desert. Ah. I was looking at the butt. I thought it was the face. Cool. Cool. Hey! Hey! Yes! Hey! Baby! Hey! Calm down. What a nice build, man. Great. Good job. Alright, that's it for this episode of Build Battle. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Leave your ideas for the comment below. <laughs>